can you see two right angle triangles? Okay. We want to calculate like the length of CD, so I'll put a little x there. But can you see in this triangle BCD that we don't have enough information to solve for x yet? You always need at least one side and then three pieces of information. In this triangle right now, we've got one angle, two angles, so we have two pieces of information, but we don't have at least one side, so there's nothing that we can solve in that one. But if we look at this other triangle, this bad triangle, BAD, we have three pieces of information and at least one side. One side. So we can solve for everything in that triangle if we want to. However, if we want to find x, there's one thing that's going to help us the most. Of all the triangles in this bad triangle, I mean of all the things in this bad triangle, what thing's going to help us the most? The hypotenuse. So if we can find that, then we can solve this bad boy. So, yeah. Oh, that one, the batteries might be dead. Here, try this one. And try this one. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the angle 47. If we're using this 47 and we want to solve for this side, and I'm going to use the letter Y for that side, the side that we want to solve is the hypotenuse. The side that we have the side that we have, the 4.2, would that be opposite or adjacent? So Katoa, which ratio, which definition will work to help us solve for y? Sine. And when we did this with the other class, we realized it was just a coincidence to solve the bad triangle that we had to use sin. All right, opposite side. 4.2, hypotenuse y. You'll need to multiply both sides by y and then divide both sides by sine 47, doing that all in one step. Take out our calculator. 4.2 divided by sine 47, 5.74. So y is equal to 5.74. Now we have enough information to solve the entire, to go to the other triangle and solve for x. Because we know that this y is 5.74. So here's the angle that I know, the 26. The x is which side, opposite or adjacent, or hypotenuse? It's the adjacent, it's right next to it. So we want to find the adjacent side. The 5.74 that we know is the, also the hypotenuse of that triangle. So this 5.74 for that red angle is the hypotenuse in the other triangle as well. So Katoa, which one are we going to use? Cos. So then cos of 26 degrees is adjacent, which is x, divided by the hypotenuse which is the 5.74. Multiply both sides by the 5.74. And on our calculator, we still have all those decimal places, so we can just go times cos of 26, 5.16. How much do they want us to round to? 
nearest tenth. Circle our final answer, 5.2 centimeters.